Okay, today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to animate a high-speed flying bird in After Effects using shape layers and path keyframes. There's some juicy little tips in this one, so let's get to it. Okay, first you're gonna create a new composition. I made mine square and 24 frames per second. Name it something useful. I grabbed this reference image from this book called Cartoon Animation. I'll have a link in the description if you wanna check it out. On a new shape layer, we're gonna draw out the body of a bird, remove the stroke, and add a white fill. We'll just adjust those path points around until we get something that we like. Once that body is looking fine, then we can name our layer Body. On a new layer, we'll draw out the first pose for the front wing and adjust the paths until we get a nice clean silhouette that really reads as a bird. We're creating just one wing at a time. We'll duplicate this one later and offset it to create the back wing. On this first frame, we'll set some keyframes on the path for the body and the wing, and then we'll convert those to hold keyframes. Here we're animating on twos, which means every two frames will have a unique pose that will give it this kind of organic feel that is pretty common in hand-drawn animation. We'll go ahead two frames and adjust the paths to make the next pose. After Effects will automatically set a keyframe here and because it's hold, it won't interpolate between them. It'll just hold until the next frame. Then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for each of the other poses. I ended up with seven keyframes to get this cycle looking nice. Then to get this to loop, we're gonna go ahead and go to aereference.com and use the loop path keyframes expression. Next, we'll duplicate the wing layer, name it back wing, drag it to the bottom of the stack, and update the color to be a light gray. In order to make some changes to the paths, we have to first disable the expression using this little equal sign button, otherwise we can't actually edit this path. Once you've made your changes, don't forget to re-enable the expression to get your loop back. Next, we gotta add some up and down movement to make this bird feel like it's flying. We're gonna parent the wing layers to the body layer, and then we'll click on the position, separate dimension, and animate the Y position up and down. I actually mapped separate dimensions to a custom shortcut on my computer, Shift D, saves me a lot of time, little pro tip. Now that we have our up and down movement, we're gonna make it loop with the loop in and out expression you can find at aereference.com. We'll drag those keyframes back and forth to make it feel right. Remember when a bird is flying, when its wings go down, it pushes itself up, and when they go up, it drops down, not the other way. The last step on this bird is to add some path keyframes to the body to give it a little more motion. I did a keyframe every four frames to give it a little up and down, and to make it feel less static. I'll use the same loop path keyframes expression here to make it match the loop of the other layers. All right, we have a nice flying bird animation. So how do we make this thing go fast? We'll drag the bird comp into a new composition and add a background layer with a nice dark color. On a new shape layer, we'll click twice to draw a line and add a stroke to it. We'll add trim paths, adjust the start property, and then animate the offset to make it look like the line is flying by. We'll duplicate that shape a few times and give it some variation in the length and the speed of the offset. This is starting to feel fast, but we're not quite there yet. Next, we're gonna add wiggle path to the shape layer and adjust the size and detail and the wiggles per second to make it feel a little more chaotic. Finally, we'll go down into the stroke settings and add a taper. We'll select this stroke and copy and paste it to the other layers, and now we have some nice speed lines. We'll duplicate this entire layer, give it some more variation, adjust the color, and then we're gonna go ahead and add a loop out expression to each of the offsets of these layers to make them loop so we can adjust the timing and make this thing feel fast. We're starting to get there, but how can we make this thing even more fast? Let's add some camera shake. We're gonna create a new null layer and parent our other layers to it. Then we'll go into the position property and add a new expression. We're gonna create some slider controls for frequency and amplitude and then hook those into a nice simple wiggle expression. That way we can set keyframes on these sliders and adjust our camera shake to our liking. If you want, you can go into the same layer and set some scale keyframes to add some snap zooms. Make sure you use collapse transformations on your bird layer to keep everything sharp when you scale it up. And booyah, you have a fast bird animation. You can also do some other things to spice this up like adding some motion blur, add a slow motion section, or make it do whatever you want. All right, that's it for today. That's another example of how using shape layers and path keyframes can get you some pretty nice animation without ever leaving After Effects. And then using some other little tricks like wiggle paths, looping expressions, camera shake, other stuff like that, you can really boost the effect without having to do too much extra work. I'm all about that bang for your buck. I really hope this video is helpful. If it was, give this video a like, comment, subscribe if you want. I've got more stuff in the works. You can follow along on other stuff I'm working on over on Twitter. I'm also posting a longer full tutorial on this if you want a more detailed breakdown. As always, peace.